Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone wherever you're joining us from. Welcome to our webinar today on the UBC Master of Management, otherwise known as the UBC MM. My name is Kevin, and I'm a Recruitment and Admissions Manager here at the Robert H. Lee Graduate School at the UBC SARS School of Business based in Vancouver, British Columbia. I'm here today to not only talk to you about our program, but ensure that this is the right program for you. I'm going to be asking some questions along the way, and I'd like you to follow along today as we discuss whether this program is the program that's meant to help you get to where you want to be. The question I usually like to ask students is, what are you going to do after your bachelor's degree? This is a common question many of you will ask yourself as you're completing your last year in your program. What we'll learn and, and see today, hopefully, is how the UBC MM is a program that might be the right fit for you. But before that, to help narrow down your choices, I usually like to ask students, what do you want? As you're going through your program and, and as you're posing this question to yourself, I feel that if these are the points that come up, you could be a good fit. You may want to become competitive in your choice of field, whether it's in business or not. You probably want to gain hands-on experience during your time doing a program, and you want to have options post-degree that are both global and local. And essentially, if you are someone who wants to obtain a degree that helps you find a career, this could be the right fit for you. You could also ask yourself, what are the options that you have with your current degree? And what are some options that you can open up post-degree? You can ask yourself, you might be someone who has a Bachelor of Science, but you don't necessarily want to go into med school or lab work. You might have a Bachelor of Arts, but you want to look at options other than law school. Or perhaps you're a Bachelor of Engineering and you want to go beyond the technical work. These are common instances, and these are our alumni who've graduated asking these same questions to themselves. For example, we have Sydney, who graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Health Science and Biology, and she's now an associate at a strategic investment and consulting firm focused on life sciences. Or you might be like Jacqueline, who has a Bachelor of Fine Arts in film production, and she's now a project manager in the Silicon Valley. Or perhaps you're like Mark, who has a Bachelor of Applied Science in Civil Engineering, and he now works as a project coordinator for Stantec. They are alumni of our program called the UBC Master of Management, which is designed specifically for students like yourself, non-business students with less than two years of full-time work experience after their bachelor's degree, especially if you are a student about to graduate or recent graduate, this could be a great fit for you. Our program is the first Master of Management developed here in North America. In fact, it has recently been ranked by the Financial Times as the number one master of management in all of North America. Our program provides applied learning and business for students. It provides them also with a mandatory consulting experience so that every student graduates from the program with experience on the resume. And at the same time, we provide our students with support through personalized career coaching. Now you might ask yourself, especially if you're coming from a non-business background, why consider business school? And why do UBC saw a school of business? Well, as we've seen just now from our alumni, business school has helped open options beyond the bachelors. Whether you are looking to go into um, your field or profession from your undergraduate degree, or whether you're looking to expand beyond that, business school provides you with the fundamental skills. And of course, why do UBC saw a school of business? Well, first off, you'd be studying at one of the world's most recognized brands, the University of British Columbia. At the University of British Columbia, we are a top 40 university ranked by QS and a Times Higher Education and are well known for our alumni. We have over 300,000 alumni in 140 countries and our university encourages innovation and experience. 180 companies alone have come spun off from UBC research and at UBC, as a student, you have access to incubators dedicated to tech entrepreneurs, research experts, a region-wide transit pass, a newly built student center with a climbing wall, and more. Now, of course, you'd also be studying at the UVC Saw School of Business at the Robert H. Lee Graduate School. Now, as a business school, we're ranked number one in Canada for business and economics, and number one in all of North America for our international outlook. Our school has seen 39,000 plus alumni in over 80 countries pass through our doors. 
and you get to tap into a network when you're a UBC MM alum. Our school has worldly connections with schools like Harvard, Oxford, Duke, NUS, and more. And you also have access to resources like our D Studio, our entrepreneurship accelerator called E at UBC, and special centers dedicated to ethics, impact investing, and social entrepreneurship. Of course, you'd also get to learn from world acclaimed faculty and researchers. Not only are our faculty members consisted of researchers who are on the cutting edge of business, but you'll also be learning from people who've come from industry. Of course, as I mentioned, you have access to many different centers here on campus too, and especially to our UBC SARS students. Before you graduate, you'll also build on your own experiences. You'll build practical consulting experience through something called the Community Business Project, which I'll talk about later. And you also get to prepare for your career with personalized career coaching. This is seen through a number of different resources, such as the Emotional Capital Report, personal branding, networking, recruitment sessions, company tours, training programs, mentorships, and lifelong career services. But rather than just present you with this plethora of career resources, we have a personal one-on-one -on -one career coach that will work with you to ensure that you make the most use of these resources that you have on hand. What's best is also that this personalized career coaching extends beyond your degree and your time here at UBC. You get lifelong alumni career services right here from the business school. UBC is also the only Canadian member as part of the Global Network of Advanced Management, which is a network of 30 business schools around the world. As you can probably see right here, there are some very recognizable names. And as the only Canadian school, you also get exclusive access to a dual degree program. And lastly, you of course get to live and study in Vancouver, a West Coast jewel. Now Vancouver has seen a number of different companies spin off here, such as Hootsuite and Lululemon. And at the same time, we're also a growing tech hub, meaning that companies like Microsoft, Amazon are also setting up base here. We're also home to a number of different offices for banks and of course, multinational corporations. And living in Vancouver, one of the world's most livable cities, means that you also get to study in one of the warmest parts of Canada, in fact, contrary to what you might think about Canada, we're actually one of the warmest parts. And in fact, we have only about two weeks of snow compared to the rest of Canada. We're based right here on the Pacific Rim, right by the Pacific Ocean. You get mountains, you get world-class facilities, and you, of course, get to grow in an amazing city. As part of your time in the UBC MM, you get to learn in a diverse classroom that reflects the real world. 52% of our class last year, as you see, were international students. And our students come from all different disciplines, social sciences, engineering, humanities, economics, law, computer science. And our class is made up of students from around the world also. Now, as I mentioned before, you also gain practical consulting experience during your time in the UBCMM. And this allows you to apply what you learn and solve real problems with the Community Business Project. You get to work with nonprofits and social enterprises during your time as a student. And for four months during your time in the program, you actually get to collaborate with your other classmates, put into small groups, and actually solve real business problems for these community members. After you're done the UBC MM, which is a nine month program, you're also able to participate in exchange and student research summer programs. Now, we encourage any student who's interested in study abroad to do so. Our exchange partners in the past have included two to six week programs at schools with varying themes. In the past, students have studied globalization in France, business and culture in China, or how to manage emerging economies in India. You can also consider a student research summer program, such as the Harvard Summer School at Harvard University for up to seven weeks, or the summer school program at the London School of Economics. You as a graduate from the UBC MM would also be able to gain access to an exclusive dual degree with the Yale School of Management called the Master of Management Studies in Global Business and Society. We are one of four schools around the world that actually has a dual track option so that you can apply into both programs at the same time. For example, you could be like Diana Zhao, who is now a consultant at Accenture Innovation Consulting in New York City. She had a BA in political science and film and media, 
She went to do her UBC MM and immediately following her time in the UBC MM, went to do the Yale MMS in global business and society. With your new degree, you would also become competitive, gain new skills in business, and open up your career path. All of our alumni here were individuals who came from a non-business background and were able to transition to a new field afterwards. 88% of the UBC MM class of 2018 were employed within three months of graduation. And of course, graduating from a Canadian program like ours, an accredited Canadian program like ours, means that you would also be eligible for the postgraduate work permit if you are an international student. With the postgraduate work permit, you'd be eligible to stay behind in Canada for a minimum of nine months matching the program and up to three years. This allows you great opportunity. This permit is also not a lottery system. It is an application that you would apply to in the last month of your program. Now, you also might be asking yourself, how do I get into the UBC Master of Management? We require the following in your application. During your time, um, as you're applying for the program, you need to ensure that you send us unofficial transcripts. Now, these can be screenshots or this can be a simple scan of the transcripts you already have on hand. And this is what we'll use to evaluate your grades. We also need a GMAT or a GRE examination. Now, competitive score for the GMAT is 650 and competitive score for the GRE 320. It's up to you to decide which examination that you'd like to do but you need to ensure that whichever one you pick fits what you are, what your strengths are. If a student is considering a career in management consulting or finance following the UBC MM, they should be looking at the GMAT. Otherwise, we have no preference on which degree that you hold. Now, we also need to look at minimum of two references, and these can be professional or academic. These will be online references, not letters of reference. So ensure that you find two people who are able to answer their email quickly and, of course, who are able to give a good reference. You also write two short answer essays during your time in the application, and you also film a 90-second video essay. Just to assure you, this is not a live video recording. You need to ensure that you record this on your own time and then upload to YouTube or Vimeo. And if your degree was conducted in a language other than English, you will need to do an English language test. This can be the IELTS, the TOEFL, or the KALE. Now, how should you go about starting your application? Well, this is what we would recommend to students. First off, you'd want to talk to an admissions manager like myself. I'll provide my contact details at the end of this webinar so you can get in touch with me. The second thing you want to do is book and study for your GMAT or GRE. Normally, we do recommend about seven weeks of study to ensure that you get the, the best score that you can. Third, you want to take your GMAT or your GRE. Fourth, let the admissions manager know how you've done. This way, the admissions manager can provide recommendation. They may recommend you to actually rewrite the examination if it doesn't meet the competitive requirement or give the thumbs up for you to go ahead and submit your application. And five, start your application. The next thing you'll want to do as you're completing your application, talk to your references. Let them know that an email is coming their way. Once you submit your application, wait to hear back from us as we provide and look at all the proper documents. If there's anything that we need from you, we'll let you know. After about four to six weeks, you can then we'll let you know whether you need to prepare for the interview. If you get an interview, ensure that you prepare for it like you would a regular job interview. And a week after the interview, You'll let, we'll let you know whether you are being offered a spot into the program. Now, the next deadline for the UBC Master of Management is November 5th. So ensure that you get all your documents ready, you sign up for that GMAT or that GRE. If you're here in Vancouver, our next event is on September 24th. And also our following event on October 26th will be both a Vancouver event and an online live stream. And this will be an MM Experience Day. We will bring a professor and alumni here to speak to students and answer questions. Now, these are the fees and expenses for the UBC Master of Management. There's a tuition, as you can see here, it's split between domestic and international. We do take payments, um, tuition in different payments. So it's not one whole lump sum. I should also assure you that there are scholarships available for students too. 
there's no need to apply for specific scholarships as every student who is admitted into the program is automatically considered for a scholarship. If you're Canadian, make sure that you submit your application by January 7th, 2020. And you, if you are an international resident, make sure that you submit your application by November 5th, 2019. All of our scholarships are merit-based and about 20 to 30% of our class every year will receive a scholarship. Rather than wait to apply at these deadlines, ensure that you apply earlier for your best chance of not only getting into the program, but also getting a scholarship from us. Now, if there's any questions that you have, or if you're ready to start your application, make sure you reach out to me first at kevin.lee at solder.ubc.ca. Thank you very much for your time, everyone. If you have any questions, again, please ensure that you reach out to me. We are always happy to hear from you. Thanks again, and thank you for considering the UBC Master of Management. I hope to see you in Vancouver this time next year.